Okay, I've had this particular trailer in my playlist forever since way back in August. So it's very possible it's already come out on whatever platform or wherever it was supposed to be released. Uh, but I decided I wanted to go ahead and watch it since it's been on there so long. It's a sci-fi movie. And um, so let's go ahead and see what it's about. Oh, it's called Augie. And the thumbnail was just a picture of this girl's face. No real clue as to what the premise is, you know, beyond the fact that it's labeled as a sci-fi movie. Felix, without you, this company would not be what it is today. Really gonna miss you around here. We got you a little parting gift. To Felix. Welcome to Augie. Augie determines your needs by reading your subconscious brain signals. Simply put the glasses on and say hello. Hey. I wasn't expecting this. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Life's short. Don't waste it. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. What about Anne? Guess you retired. Life's over. Now you might as well die. All right. Hey. Those are Augie glasses. It projects what your subconscious wants to see. When I'm with you, I see things differently. Now I have options. Please tell me outright, is there someone else? Where were you? She has every reason to be mad. You don't have to talk about it unless you want to. I don't know what I want. You have a new perspective. You're discovering something you didn't know about yourself. I'm scared of losing what I have. Sometimes it's hard to make sense of these things. Let me ask you something. Do you feel anything? This thing, I'm sure that it listens and it is agreeable, but it is not real. Hmm. Okay, so... So it's, it's, it's kind of more like a character drama with sci-fi elements in it. You know, that this AI that he's interacting with in his, in his, in the glasses, um, it kind of reminds me of, you know, the whole, you know, infestation of things like Siri and, and, um, Cortana and the, you know, that sort of kind of invasive type presence of this sort of AI thing that's like listening and, trying to guess ahead what what you're maybe what you're searching for or whatever um, not obviously not to that extreme as what's shown in this film but when I'm watching this I'm reminded of this book I worked on in the course of my job and it's there are several books in fact I'm actually working on book number five right now uh, as I take a break from that work to film this reaction but the first book was called The Feedback Loop. And in this story, this guy is stuck in this game and he, for like a few years and a few real life years, and he forms this attachment to this um, NPC called Dolly. And he falls in love with her, you know, and she's very human-like. And it seems like there's this real, you know, human connection between them. And even once he's, spoiler alert, once he gets out, he managed to get, manages to get out, he still very much misses her and feels like he loves her and has this very definite human love attachment to her, but she's not a real person. So it reminds me of this, like, what, how, what do you classify as something that's real or not real? Even if the AI involved is, is, you know, is not a real human, you know, it's still possible to form in, within these stories, I guess. I don't know that this sort of thing really ha has happened in real life, but it's, you know, clearly the sentiment that is felt by the human it's no less real than the sentiment they might would feel for an actual human being. So it kind of touches on some interesting subject matter. You know, what, what's real? What's real love? 
I mean, I guess I guess you would say that real love would be something that would would the requirement be that it needs to be reciprocated? Does the other person need? No, 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 not really. A person can feel love for another person even if that love is not returned. So it's just kind of interesting thinking about these things. It's like you're like, man, that's just so weird. But at the same time you can sort of understand or I can just based on the work that I do um, because a lot of it has to do with lit RPG uh, you know books and things like that where people are, are you know going into game worlds and the attachments that they form with characters who are not real people so maybe I can sort of kind of identify not really identify but can sort of get where this is coming from so I don't know if this is something that is is interesting enough to me to want to actually invest the time in watching it. I might just read the summary of it or something like that just to find out what happens. But it's an interesting concept and you know I, I don't I doubt I really doubt it's gonna come to a theater here. It just kind of feels like it's something that's gonna go straight to streaming. Uh, once again, this just says trailer, movie in theater soon. If it comes to a theater, I suspect it will be a pretty limited release, but I will not be watching this on the big screen, and very possibly not at all, but it's an interesting trailer. Uh, interesting subject matter that it touched on. kind of makes you think a little bit, you know. It's kind of like part of you is like, I cannot identify with that. And then another part is like, you know, you kind of sort of can to an extent. So you, you can sort of understand where this guy's coming from, but it seems to me like this story involves marital issues, basically. There's problems going on between this husband and his wife. They've grown apart or whatever, and um, I, I just think it's just more of a character drama than anything, anything sci-fi related. I don't think it's going to get so heavy into that. So more about the focus on the people and their relationship with each other. Anyway, okay. Oh, and how like technology can tear people apart. <laughs> Maybe it's also a metaphor for that. So, okay. Well, I think that's it for this one, you guys. Bye.